In the desert of Al Manufia, 33 year old Mohammed Al Ghalab is struggling to irrigate his crops. Rising fuel prices, along with its scarcity, had forced him to rely on mains electricity to run a pump for his small farm. But frequent power cuts made it near impossible, and he's since turned to an independent solar energy system. Due to the daily electricity outage, we had to turn to solar power. The plants need water twice daily, in the morning and in the evening, and usually the power cuts occur at those times when we need to water our plants. With water requirements being at their greatest on scorching sunny days, the new technology seems an obvious choice, but it comes at a cost. Equipment capable of pumping 4,000 litres of water per hour set Mohammed back around 15,000 US dollars, and he needs another three solar arrays for the whole farm. Mohammed wants the government to help. <laughs> I'm calling for the government to supply farmers with solar power panels at a reasonable cost and allow payment by installments and to invest in us. We will work and we will save the government lots of gas and electricity. They should help us and not leave us to buy these panels at high cost. A few weeks ago, authorities said solar panels would be set up in certain provinces in an attempt to reduce stress on Egypt's overburdened electrical grid. Slowly but surely, solar is becoming an attractive option for the government. This crisis demands all efforts to look for alternative sources of power. Most important are renewable sources of power like solar energy. Power shortages will be a political liability for Egypt's new president. Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, who's expected to win next month's vote, has signaled he intends to enact reforms. Egyptians hope that will translate to keeping blackouts to a minimum. Clementine Logan, CCTV.